Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Good evening to all. In this video, so friends, in this video we are gonna see about uh, one of the quick update that I wanna share with you about Vodafone Idea. Now you could have the question, right? What really happened to Vodafone Idea and why is the share price down today? Remember, friends, from 7.65 it has gone up to 13.5. Almost the share has been doubled from the AGR outcome low. Okay, so if you been there would be a profit take in the market and that has happened today basically i mean are you afraid of this chart is going down i am not afraid rather it would give an another buying opportunity for so much of investors who are waiting in line or rather it can be a situation it can be a situation where people or the big hands may be tempted to buy this chart may who are not got chances to buy so the same place happening I mean, I already said I am holding for a long time. I am not cared about what happened in the short term because, according to me, first thing is rebranding. The rebranding has been done as we expected. Vi, the rebranding has been done. The second thing is that the fundraising has been going around. The third thing is that the strong manager has been coming back. And yesterday we discussed about the annual report of Vodafone Idea, and in which I particularly see a main main point that I I just I just want to discuss with you, and this is this point. Uh, Borrowing powers of the company. This is this is as per the annual report of the latest annual report of the Vodafone Limited. And in this, what they have said is that uh, to consider and fit to pass the special resolution. I think this is the I mean this are the kind of eight or nine things that people should vote in NSDL uh, before the AGM or on the date of AGM. Okay. So we consider here what they are trying to say is that uh, on 2014 they conducted a meeting. So Basically and particularly, Vodafone uh, Ideas borrowing limit is now around twenty-five thousand crore. Okay, and uh, they are saying is they are now they are saying is that uh, the company bankers and they may exceed the aggregate pay the capital company fees that is being up approved. Okay, and uh, if you see here, provided that the total amount so borrowed and outstanding at any time shall not exceed one lakh crore. Or, or okay, one lakh crore, or the aggregate of the paid-up capital free reserves and security premium account of the company, whichever is higher. So obviously, if you take a put a simple question of one lakh crore, now I am having a simple doubt, friends, that you could able to, uh, you could also have. Uh, let me take, let me take you to a simple, uh, what to say, simple idea. Okay, let us assume the current borrowings of the company is twenty-five thousand crore. Okay, if you are clarifying it, okay, twenty-five thousand crores debt. Recent fundraising fifteen thousand crore fully debt. If you put a simple calculation, forty thousand crore of debt is already been done. Okay, so remaining sixty thousand crores of debt. How is going to if they want to raise? How is going to come? And why they are creating an additional debt? Okay, due to the merger issues they are creating. Okay, that's all. Okay, but sixty thousand crores of extra. If you put a simple calculation, it, it is almost nine billion US dollars. I think something is really cooking up. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, basically, because uh, uh, rising from twenty thousand crores of uh, borrowing limit to one lakh crore of borrowing limited, it it is a good thing. Okay, if you if you, I mean if you, I mean we should, we should understand right now the market capital is thirty three thousand crore. AGM is On 30th, so for a one lakh crore of debt rise, whether the market capital would be at 30,000 crore, that is your guess point. I think basically this month is full of surprises of Vodafone Idea. Some great newses would come before the AGM because in order to raise this humongous amount of one lakh crore, it now is easy chance in order to people to provide that kind of uh, viability option to the Company, but if something good happens for the company, something good, some good investor may open or any private equity player may invest in this company, and if that is the case, then automatically people would be tempted or people would be able to uh, able to vote in favor of raising their borrowing limit to one lakh crore. And uh, if we, I mean, if we take uh, this sixty thousand crores of extra free cash and twenty thousand crores of uh, uh, this extra cash, I think. They are planning big. That's it. I want to say. So regarding tomorrow's price momentum, uh, 
10.95 on the lower side 12.15 on the upside i think that is what i am seeing for tomorrow I mean, nothing we are not cared about uh, this right i already said within a period of one or two months or three months i'm expecting a target of around 15 rupees in order for an idea because simple uh, if the capital price is going to be successful automatically the share price will rise so 15 rupees i am hoping with it i'm not care about the each and every day upside and downside thank you friends and see you in the video very soon